welcome back everyone this is case number 10 of msk series today our case is 10 year old 10 year old boy presented with progressively enlarging lump in the right knee joint for 8 months duration so so this is the anteroposterior radiograph of the distal right femur in a skeletal immature patient so you can still see the growth plate it is not fused so it's a skeletal immature patient the abnormality here you can see so it's a it's a kind of a lesion it's a bony projection which arises from the lateral aspect of the right distal femoral metaphysis so it's a projection and the and it is well defined so it has narrow zone of transition you can see and the cortex is continuing you can see medullary cavity is also continuous with the native bone you can see the femur and medullary cavity is continuing so uh, there are no other lesions elsewhere and no if this is involvement you can't see any fractures no soft tissues this region and no ring ring and arc type calcifications in the surroundings there is no periosteal reaction so it's a benign lesion the joint is normal so the diagnosis of this lesion is osteochondroma osteochondroma is the diagnosis so this appearance is unique for osteochondroma so sometimes these uh, osteochondromas can mimic other diseases especially in the hand you get uh, what you call bisaya paraosteal osteochondromatous proliferation the short term is this thing bisaya paraosteal osteochondromatous proliferation can occur and sometimes in chondroma protuberance in chondroma protuberance another differential diagnosis is parosteal osteosarcoma these are some differential diagnosis these lesions usually occur in the hand this also occur in the hand paraosteolosis sarcomas can origin in the long bones so osteochondromas they usually occur in the first and second decades of life and they arise from the metaphysis and projected away from the epiphysis or the joint so they can then there are multiple osteochondromas they can occur in hereditary multiple extrososis disease 
this osteochondroma can occur in the epiphysis also then we call it river disease thus possibility of a malignant transformation into chondrosarcoma when they are the cartilage cap of osteochondromas are more than 1.5 centimeters in thickness so malignant risk is very high when it is associated with hereditary multiple extrastosis so that tends the case number 10 thank you everyone please subscribe to our youtube channel then you will get more video notifications when we update those videos and you can comment on our videos thank you